would you like some help with your current booking system or maybe explore how our voice agents can assist you in managing those tasks? Awesome. I booked your call for this Thursday at 9.30 a.m. You should receive an SMS with all the details shortly. Anything else I can help with? No, that's it. Thank you. So here's like a Google Calendar link with the time. If you're an agency owner, you just want to learn how to set up like the basic foundational stuff for this sort of thing, then I'm going to go through it right now. If you go through what I'm about to show you, you could probably make it in like about an hour or two. Uh, if this is your first time ever making it, even if you don't know what you're uh, doing. And how do I get it to look so nicely? I can actually show you how it will look like. And then I'll show you my little prompt here. There's nothing else to it. That's all I've written there. Just take a screenshot again, put it through ChatGPT. And then here we'll have the call transcript going into our Airtable. So the lead phone number, some extra KPIs to track here. I just found it gives 100% accurate results instead of using AI where it was getting it right 95% of the time. Welcome. I'm an AI assistant called Ellen. How are you? Uh, hey, I'm doing well. Awesome to hear that. So are you calling to explore how AI can help improve your business? Or are you just curious to learn a bit more about it? Um, yeah, I was looking at one of your YouTube videos and I was interested in one of the booking ones. Oh, cool. So it sounds like you might be a business owner looking to streamline your booking process. Can I ask how big your team is? Yeah, so I have a team of 10 people. We're uh, a real estate agency. Nice, a team of 10 sounds like a great setup for a real estate agency. Do you have a website where I can check out what you do? Oh uh, yeah, our website is called bluebow.com. Bluebow, got it. Sounds intriguing. So with your team and the real estate projects you have, would you like some help with your current booking system or maybe explore how our voice agents can assist you in managing those tasks? Yeah, I was thinking maybe doing some outbound calls once a lead comes in through our Facebook lead form. That's a smart move. Our voice agents can definitely help with handling those outbound calls efficiently. How about we schedule a time to discuss this in more detail? What time works best for you for our callback? Hmm. How about this Thursday in the morning? Great. Let me check the availability for this Thursday morning. Just a moment. Okay. I see some slots available. It looks like the available slots for this Thursday morning are at 8 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. Would either of those times work for you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, can we do the 9.30 a.m. then? Yeah, it is, yes. Give me a moment. Awesome. I booked your call for this Thursday at 9.30 a.m. You should receive an SMS with all the details shortly. Anything else I can help with? No, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Have a fantastic day, and I look forward to chatting more on Thursday. Talk soon. Yep, see you. Cool. And now we have a booking link on my phone. I was about to shove my phone in the camera. So here's like a Google Calendar link with the time. Uh, it says confirmed for night Thursday at 9.30 a.m. on the 22nd of August CET. So Central European time. And then here we'll have the call transcript going into our Airtable. So the lead phone number, our end of the call, and then some extra KPIs to track here. And yeah, this is the automation that I use to track all this. So just to show you the different parts of it, essentially what it does is this part here in the middle, that's sort of like this one that I'm going over right now. This one here will uh, use my server that's deployed on render to double check the availabilities and give those back to the user if they are available. So I don't use any AI for this. I just found it gives 100% accurate results instead of using AI where it was getting it right 95% of the time. But 
in most cases in a real life scenario that's actually not enough you want the system to be 100 percent accurate because if your team is out of, out of office or they're on holiday or on the weekend well you don't want to get a book call if they're actually not available and then when it goes to book in this is the booking node here basically in this area here it validates whether that time is actually available still so it goes through checks all the availabilities through the calendar and then uses some maths out there instead of code to just double check whether that's actually available or not because because sometimes the person calling in actually picks the wrong time so in our call it was I think she said 8 a.m. and 9.30. If I picked 11 a.m. just because I wanted to, it would then try and actually book into a slot that might be already booked. So we need to double validate that again. Some extra things I could have added in. This is just for the sake of the demo, just so you guys can see this whole thing working and in action. You can add it in an email for the user so the caller can actually get an email once it's also booked in along with the SMS and probably grab the name of the caller and then send that through in the SMS. So that's another thing we could add. And yeah, the transcript then goes straight into Airtable or whatever CRM that you want. Pretty much work with any CRM at the moment, as long as it's got a nice documentation. But Go How Level has been pretty popular. And yeah, so this is the inbound version. We've also got the outbound version set up. There is also another version of this where if someone calls back and then says, hey, I wanna change my booking or delete my booking, it's also a version of not working on another setup here as well. So this is a very complex setup. This will take a few weeks worth of videos to go through, right? Especially with the code, et cetera. So what I've done is I've got a, a bit simpler setup and this is just fully checking the availabilities of the caller. So if you're an agency owner and you just want to learn how to set up like the basic foundational stuff for this sort of thing, then I'm going to go through it right now. Essentially, what you will do is within VAPI, you'll jump into your tools. New tool. And then in here, we want to put in our workbook from where the lightning thing is so we copy address to clipboard we save that go next and then this let's just call it requested time so grab the user's requested time in exactly exactly what they said tomorrow or Tuesday. save that go next and let's call this one check avail so check availability and then checks the availability of our calendar now with these you do not need to write a lot of things here so in the description only put enough words to tell it when to use it you go create and once you've got this tool here called check avail you go back to your, into your assistant i've just made a uh, dummy assistant here. I've, ca I've called it Ellen. So Ellen is my AI voice receptionist. Now this is not the same prompt I used for the call we had before. This is like a simplified version. I have been getting quite a lot of success with Foro Mini Cluster. It costs way less. And if you're wondering about the voice that I was using, she is called Joanne. And this is my prompt. Let's just call it Ellen. This is my prompt for this mini demo version I'm showing you guys. Essentially what we'll do is we'll engage with the caller by using the step-by-step -step process. So we start the call by asking for the caller to propose a time. We'll then ask for the name, use the chat calendar and book calendar function. And then you want to finalize a conversation and then say, have a great day. And then trigger and call tool. Go okay, and publish. And because we're asking for the name, I might actually go back into the tools and into. I might actually also make the booking one as well while we're at it. Let's do that. So I'm going to use the same webhook that we had before. Go next. And then go request a time. A time chosen by the user. Book cow. Trigger this to book a slot into our calendar. Great. And then in here, what we'll do is also add in name. 
and then just go the user's the user's name and then click save. We'll go back to our assistant functions and I'm actually going to use book cow and check availability. Published. So today this has happened the second time where I've updated the prompt and it hasn't been saved. Quite annoying. All right. So this is my like demo version. This is a smaller version of the setup we had before. And if you go through what I'm about to show you, you could probably make it in like a, about an hour or, or two. You know, if this is your first time ever making it, even if you don't know what you're doing. So essentially what you will do is you will click on here, you'll add module uh, as a first and you click on webhook, custom webhook. And this is your first thing. You'll then click on add, call it whatever. So this is just for the example sake, for example, press OK. And this is this would be a webhook. Now I've already done that, so I don't need to redo it. And then you'll create a open AI chat completion. So if you add module, you'll find it here. If you just type open AI. Okay. And then this is the one that I'm using, create a chat completion prompt. Some of the options in this that I have is I'm using Faro Mini. It is dirt cheap. It is, I think, three or times five cheaper than uh, Turbo 3.5 Turbo, and it's way better. Uh, I've chosen a system for the role, and this is my prompt for it. Uh, if I was you, I would literally just uh, take a screenshot of this and then run it through ChatGPT. Essentially, what we are doing is we are grabbing the person's requested time, for example, tomorrow. And then it will give me the start time and end time, depending on what date was picked. Then if you guys want to change your working hours of when, when you want it to like start looking and end looking, then you will just change the user values here. And another thing that you'd have to take into consideration that I'm assuming people are calling in from one location. So for example, they're calling in only from Poland. And that way I don't have to deal with any time conversions, etc. It knows the current time because I'm giving it the current time in the next message. And my tool call, the requested time is you got tool calls, function arguments, and you click on this. You'll put that in there. We want to, we want to pass the JSON that has come through because what we've done is we've clicked on advanced settings. We scroll all the way down. You can make that temperature zero. Set max tokens to 350. And there is a there you go, response format. You click on JSON object. That's pretty important. Without that, it'll be quite hard to make it work. Then what you do is you grab the get free busy information from the Google Calendar node. You scroll all the way down. You grab this one. That's the one that I'm using. And what you then do is you select the start time and then the end time from this output. Then in here, you click on uh, this node, also like this thing here, literally click on that. And then the information that we get back is a start and an end, and each bundle is a slot. So what then happens is... And just to show you that it actually works, so I just added in a time at four. So when we run it again, it should come in through with another slot in there. So now there are two slots. There you go. Yeah, so the second now bundle is the 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. slot on my calendar. And how do I get it to look so nicely? Well, what we do is we use the text aggregator node. This is probably my most favorite node in all of time in make.com. What you do is you add module, uh, click in text, text aggregator, source module. We click on the module that we want to look at. So in this case, we, we are looking at the iterator. Then you click on show advanced settings. Row separator is new row. So essentially what it will do is it'll keep on going down. So, so each new 
busy slot will be a new row. And then what you do is you type in the word slot, you click on bundle order position, which is like number one, two, three, four, five. That's how I get the numbers to pop up dynamically. Then we format the date. So you type in HH, which is 24 hour format time. So like 23 hours or 22 hours. So like 2300 or 2200. A little dash there uh, is the separator. And then, yeah, we format the date, which is, so if you guys wanna see that, how it looks like, you literally just start, start typing in format date. It's up in the bracket, and then you choose that. You do the semicolon, then type in, for example, year of that date. And that would format it just to give you the year, for example. Um, so that's what I set up in here. Next is I have a router. And then in the router, I've chosen the this thing here. If the array is less than one, so the number of times given back in my Google Calendar module is less than one, which means I'm effectively at zero. So that means there are no busy slots. That means I'm free all day. So it will go here and then it will say all day is free, pick any time. If you guys wanna see how to make these tool calls, I've also got another video, uh, Tools 2.0. If you could go watch that, that'll be great. And then I've got another one here where if ray length uh, is greater than or equal to one, that means there's one busy slot or more. Uh, so that means it will then go through this route. Then what I've done is just chucked in uh, this result underneath the data uh, heading. And then I'll show you my little prompt here. There's nothing else to it. That's all I've written there. Just take a screenshot again, put it through ChatGPT. Max tokens, uh, I've actually put it pretty high, but probably shouldn't have been. Let's just make it 512. Powers of two, and press OK. And then what we need to do, this result, we actually need to transform it into a JSON because what happens is the results that get back sent to VAPI has to be in JSON format. If it's not, it'll freak out and it'll say, result didn't come back or it will just say it didn't work at all or it will hallucinate and then what you do is you click on this so you'll click on the previous node results so the json string and then click ok that's that would be for checking the availability and then you'll be booking the calendar so i'll just show you guys how i would, how I would do this because we have two functions right so instead of making another flow what we could do is we could call this one so then we come in here we go this and we Name this check availability. I'm just going to copy this and then we'll name this one. Um, I think it was book. What was it? What's the other name function? Book cow. Book cow. It's okay. Uh, and then you would do something along the lines of Google Calendar and then create an event. And then you, in your event name, you'd then say uh, test event or whatever you want in here. You could even get the person's name to come up in this part. And in here, you would then check in whatever result got sent from VAPI into here after the person has chosen their time. There's some extra little things to think of when you're doing something like this, and that's to uh, set up the agent so that it's uh, transient. That means that it knows the current time and date. So then when it does send that actual chosen time, it will know exactly what the time is. And to do that, I've actually made another video. It's my AI coach video and how to build it. Uh, and there I actually go through the whole setup of how to do the whole inbound. So, so when you're calling in, so I'll show you guys what I mean. So it's this whole part here. I actually went through that in the video, but I think I went through it for the outbound. It's actually the same setup, if you notice. It's got the same modules. If you watch that, it'll also show you how to do dynamic variables within make.com. So there was a few things to go through there. I hope this provided you with some value. And if you did want to learn some extra VAPI, make.com and voice flow, but in more like a beginner type sense. So if you've never touched them, it'll just skyrocket your learning. Yeah, I can help you out with that. If you're a business owner and you did like the initial demo, my booking link is below. It's for a discovery call. I'm interested to see how we could help rev revolutionize your business. We've seen lots of success with my other setups. So yeah, thanks for watching, ladies and gents. And see you next time.